Hey everyone, it's Chanel here, and as promised, I am back with weekly oracle card reading for next week uh, to get ahead of the game so that you don't miss out on your reading. So this is the weekly oracle card reading for January 21st through the 27th, 2019. Um, I was drawn to the daily guidance cards. These, again, and I probably said a million times, are a great one because they have so much written on them. They're a great starter deck for somebody who wants to start reading cards for themselves. Totally a great deck to get started with. We're going to pull three cards <clears throat> for this coming week when I'm away and posting this early for you. So that's number two. And actually, I'm going to pull number three. Don't usually do that. Take two cards in a row, but I definitely felt the urge to. So our first card is perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or cast procrastinate, sorry, as all the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. The universe is totally on your side right now. And like I said in my last video, the energy right now has sped up. Manifestation is happening quickly. So if there's something that you want to work towards, get moving on it. Change those thoughts, feelings, actions, and get that moving. Entrepreneur. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Now this card kind of has a two-parter here for me. So as soon as I read it, I knew that it wasn't necessarily about being an entrepreneur, but it's about doing a job that really sets, um, that resonates with you. But what is most important is that piece about following your intuition and your divine guidance. That is so important. We really live in a society where we move so fast that we don't always slow down and take that deep breath and really connect to our intuition and listen to what's going on. Listening to our bodies, to our souls, to our surroundings, the universe, to the people that are around us, the things that are being sh said and shared, the actions that we're seeing, all of that is really important and the universe is asking you to pay attention to that right now. The second part of that card is also this piece of you have these teammates, these divine teammates. So the best part about angels and our divine light bodies that surround us is they can be anywhere and everywhere at the same time because there is no time and space where they are. So whoever you need in this moment, call on them. You're not taking them away from someone else. I never hesitate to call on my spirit guides the um, angels that I love to surround myself with or the loved ones that have crossed over to the other side because they know that I'm not taking them away from anyone else in that moment, that I can call on them, call on whatever help that I need, say a prayer to them, whatever it is you need because they are everywhere and they've got your back. You just have to ask for their help. They are not allowed to interfere, but if you ask for help, then they will help you. All right, last one, beautiful card, the Sitcha family. The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. If your mind and heart surround this person, yourself and the experience with calming blue light and angels, be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peaceful. And I want you to think about this not just as our blood family, but our family that is extended. Those who are considered our family, but maybe aren't, <clears throat> blood related, like my yoga family or my best friend who's my soul sister. Um, you know, their family as well. And the universe is asking you to um, kind of reflect and ask yourself if there's anywhere that you need to create healing within relationships. And when you can look at those relationship healing that needs to happen, you can also look back within yourself and what um, they're, they're indicating patterns, seeing the patterns that kind of are there. And then again, they're trickling back to that place of self-love. So what are the things within yourself that are affecting the relationships that are around you, whether that is your immediate family, the blood relations that are around you, or if that is like soul family that's around you, um, they're asking you to really acknowledge that. On the other side of that, it's a two-parter kind of day, they're also asking you to acknowledge who your support system is. So again, this might be your soul family and not necessarily your blood family, but they're asking you to acknowledge who your support system is. Who would you call on for certain situations? 
You are not going to call on the same person for everything. You're going to call on different people for different aspects of your life. And the universe is asking you to acknowledge those people because those are the people that are going to help you take steps up. It's that whole meme about, you know, straightening someone's tiara instead of like dragging them down. It's all about, you know, helping each other up, taking a hand out and lifting someone up instead of pushing them back down again. So who is your support system? Lots of things to look at this week. Lots of things to connect with and really ask yourself where you're headed. And again, connecting into that place of self-love. From my heart and soul to yours, I'll see you again soon.